Hello YouTube and welcome back to this tutorial playlist series on how to make a dubstep track a bit like Skrillex. In this video, it's just a quick one now, we'll be making sub bass. Okay, let's get started. First of all, you're going to want to come to instruments, left click and drag off an instance of operator synth onto where it says drop files and devices here. We'll drop it down, we'll highlight 8 bars from the beginning. Zoom in a bit so we can see it a bit better. Alright, eight bars. Then right click on the highlighted area, come down to insert mini clips and click on that, left click. Press control on L to loop it. Press solo, unarm the track, we don't want that. Then to the right of the keys here, you can see what it says C4, C3, C2. Go down to C1 called C0. And then press B to get your pencil pull out. And when it says C0, hover above the keys, and it'll tell you what corresponding key is. Go up to 1 to C D0. And then put a note down on D0. Go to the edge of the note to see half an eye icon. Drag it out for one bar. Then press Ctrl and D seven times, Ctrl and D, Ctrl and D, so it fills up the eight bar clip. Then right click, go to one eighth note, shave off one unit off the end of the first bar, two units off the end of the second bar, one unit off the end of the third bar, and three units off the end of the fourth bar, one unit, two, one, three. Then put, press B to put your pencil tool away, move this one over one, Move this one over one, move this one over one, and move that one over one. Now what you do, lift this one on D0, the trick is here, never to go below D0, and never go below, never go above A0. So put them on anywhere you want, so we'll put this one on E0, put this one on F0, really that one on C0, then this one back on E, this one on F, this one on G and on this one the highest note A0 now if we turn that all the way up to 6 play it back a nice bit of sub bass what we have to do to, so it doesn't cause subduing of the drums we have to EQ it and pinpoint it to a frequency and we have to put it in mono as well just like we did with our bass and drums so what we will do we'll see what our We'll see whereabouts our kicks are happening again. And they were happening at 42 hertz exactly. So we place back and go to audio effects and left click on EQ8 and drag an instance flat out onto your sub bass MIDI clip. Click on this box number four, turn number four off. Put number two. And 500 hertz. We'll click on here and type in 500. Drop it down to minus 3 decibels. I'll put the Q on 15. No, say 14. Put number 3 on 14 kilohertz. And click on the corresponding toolbox on number 3. And click off off all the low end brick or the bottom preset. Put scale on 110, drop down again to minus 0, 5, 1, turn that Q off, and then click on corresponding band 1, drop it down to 28, Point five. This is twenty-seven point. Go all the way down to twenty-five point five. Click on corresponding to watch one. Click roll for the high brick wall, 
and click on Banffo, well, we'll have Banffo, then we'll play it back. We'll get, since it's happening on different notes, this is where it's peaking on the different notes, we've got to find a good place in between all these different peaks. So that's the first point to the right, that's the first point to the left, so about here, as you can see that's, that will cause some overlap with our drums, our drums are from 45 to 2 hertz. So we'll put on 47.5, then we'll turn the Q all the way up to 18, so that's pinpointing on a completely different frequency to our drums. And turn it down to about minus 1 decibel, and there you go, that's that. Then what we will do is get utility, and same thing we did with our bass drop, put utility on the end there, click on space mono, that becomes activated to 1 to uh, 120 hertz, turn to 5 hertz up to 1, 2, 5 hertz. Now I can turn this operator down to say something like 0 0.5 and turn it up on the gain here. Something like 3.5 and turn this up to 1.5. Then what we'll do is we'll just Press Ctrl and D to duplicate it once, twice, three times, then we'll shave off two bars, and we'll shave off two bars there. And we'll take this one, left click and hold Ctrl, and let go of the mouse button first, before you let go of Ctrl, to copy it across rather than move it. Then press Ctrl and D twice, drag across, come over here, do the same thing again, Ctrl and left click and let go of the mouse button first. We'll shave off we have this much of the sub base and take this one, put it there, Ctrl and D, shave off two bars, and take this one, left click, hold Ctrl, then put it there and press Ctrl and D, Ctrl and D, move it across. Then highlight any two bars of the sub base and put it there. What we will do is we just shave off that much and we'll put just that one base note in the middle there. Then we'll drag that across by hold hold and control, delete that, then move this and budge that up to this one. Press Ctrl and D, Ctrl and D, Ctrl and D. And we'll just shield two bars there. And that's your sub base sorted. If you like this video at all YouTube, please give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps keep me motivated to keep bringing you more excellent content like this. Until next time YouTube, look after yourselves, take care, be safe, stay lucky. This is Virtual Worlds. Sorry, that's my old name, Virtual Worlds. Whoops, that's a classic mistake. This is Music Tech Point, and I'm signing out.